Toya, why? I, I really want to know why. Because uh, when Mariah was trying to move on, Toya decided, okay, so there's really no more issues on the table. That's when Lisa Nicole was, said, you know what? There is one issue. Why are you trying to go in on me at my own party regarding me wanting to have another child? Toya was like, one, you're too old. You're like in your 40s and you look like you're in your 60s. I'm like, wait a minute. What, what's, what's going on here? Toya then continues, uh, your husband doesn't even want you to have a baby. And Lisa Nicole said, what are you talking about? I know my husband. Of course he said that he wanted me to have a baby. She was like, no, you need to speak to your man. And it's just like, well, first off, can you even have a baby? Second off, why do you think that your husband hasn't had a baby on you? See, that's why you really want a baby. You want a baby to go and trap him, to go and keep him. He doesn't want another child with you. Heck, I don't even know. Does he even sleep with you anymore? I'm like, where is this coming from? It's like, you have a nanny, you have help, you have money. And I'm thinking, Toya, are you mad because she doesn't have financial issues and you do? Like, where is this coming from? Because <laughs> that's, that's the petty side of me is like, is that why you're mad? Is it something stupid like that? Is that why you're really upset? And she continues, you know, you're just going to go and pay someone to go and take care of your child for you. So, of course, you can continue to do that when uh, you don't have to do it yourself. You don't have to do your mother to the children yourself. I'm like, hold up, hold up, fell on the plate. What has Lisa Nicole done to you for you to go at? Lisa Nicole hasn't done. I'm trying to really think, what has Lisa Nicole actually done to you for you to go in on her like that? See, that's a petty, um, angry person that's trying to deal with her own mess and her own issues. And so she's going in, deflecting it, and putting it on other people. That's what was happening. So Mariah was letting it go. She was just like, oh, this is a mess. I can't believe this is happening. But from once I'm not in the drama, so let this go continue. Jackie had to go and switch places with them. It's just like, at the end of the day, all this is messed up. You know, if she wants to have a child, let her have a child. What's the real problem? What's the real issue? And it was interesting because Mariah actually said, you know, Toya, I don't know where you're coming from with that, but what I will say is you are very blunt and to the point. And at one point we did have a friendship. I do apologize for my part in messing up uh, that situation. And I would like to move forward. I'm like, wait a minute. What, what's going on here? None of this is making sense right now. None of this is making sense right now. Quad going, giving her two piece. Why did I say her two piece? On the whole, it was just. Uh, again, let's slow down for a little bit because I'm still trying to process what's going on. Because I finally noticed what you guys were saying about Quad's hair. I thought that I thought maybe I was just seeing things in the last episode, but I guess because she was wearing a wig and where it actually started to where her hairline is in the fake hairline they put. Like it's funny, little things like that. I don't care about so but when people bring it to my attention that's the only thing I can look at but Quads will look good regardless so I don't care um why did Dante Heavenly decide that she wanted to go and so she did her rounds with her children and they're just like hey mom be thinking we knew we were recording because we could have things could have been very different it's just like okay go away go away um Dr. Simone, you know, she's doing her thing at her second house, and she invites her cousin, her first cousin, who she's had a close relationship with since she was 18. And the reason why she invited her close cousin is because, you know, it's great, she can come and pop in on her and the kids, and they're even closer than ever. But she really needs a shoulder to cry on because she still doesn't know where her father is. Her cousin doesn't know, hasn't heard anything from her father. So no one knows where Simone's father is. Simone is bugging out because she's like, it's been a while. He has money in his bank account that he hasn't touched. And he's just gone off the radar. He's gone off the radar. He does have a drinking problem. We do know that already. Talk to Eugene and Toya are talking about their finance. See, the thing is, it's weird because I appreciate their honesty and the other side is just like, Toya, but you're not making the situation better because Dr. Eugene, the whole time on in their car ride, is clearly trying to let them know they cannot continue to live the life that they're currently living. They, ha they still have their old home and he's been hinting throughout this whole car ride that maybe they need to move back to their old home. Remember, they moved in the first place because their neighbor next door, their door got kicked in. Now, you look at the neighborhood and you wouldn't think that it would happen there, but again, home invasions can happen anywhere. So I'm thinking, just hire extra security. With the money that you're spending to be to rent, 
your current house that you know you can't afford, that you both just admitted that you can't afford, just to live with the Joneses to appease Toya. I'm like, Toya, you're not making the bulk of the money in this relationship. I mean, the amount that you're spending, regardless if it's for, on your kids, on your house, even on your husband, on yourself, it's still coming primarily from your husband. So if he's saying, you know, maybe we need to chill out and you have this $170,000 tax lien for back taxes, this is not helping your case. They look at these, look at, look at all the people on reality TV that got the government came after because they saw how they're living. It's like, hold up. But these receipts, these receipts are telling us a different story. Toya needs to go and be playing the We Broke and Homeless tour. We broke, we homeless, we need to go back to our old home. I'm thinking, they actually kept the home, the old home Why? Probably because they couldn't sell it for what they wanted to. Because that's how the housing market is. It is a buyer's market and not a seller's, seller's market. So, it was probably better for them to take the house off the market, you know, pay whatever they need to pay to maintain it and keep it the way it is. Toya is just trying to maintain it because she wants to eventually sell it. Eugene is just like, I've been keeping this as a nest egg, egg because the reality is we most likely may need to move back in here. She's just like, no, nope, no, nope, can't do that. And it's like, you know, the house is great, but we move because of safety issues. Again, I'm thinking, just go and get better security. Or sell it or attempt to sell it, take a, whatever you need to do and get a more reasonably price. <sighs> You can't continue to live with the Joneses if you're not making the Joneses income. You just can't. You don't have rich uh, women problems or rich people problems because you're not rich. You high middle class. That's the reality. You high upper, upper, upper middle class. You're not rich, rich. Um, now, Dr. Jackie, you know, she has a patient that has breast cancer and she's only 26 or she was like, those when she was 26. Either way, she's young. And, you know, it's hard for Dr. Jackie because, you know, Dr. Jackie went through that as well. Part of the reason why Dr. Jackie can't have kids of her own because of everything that she had to do where it spread. And the her patient doesn't want to have, uh, she's not accepting the chemo. She doesn't want to do the chemo. She's like, I want to live my life. I want it to end the way that it's going to end. I'm not going to go and do something that, you know, chemo does destroy your body. It does because it's trying to eradicate the cancer cells, but it also attacks everything else. That's the other thing. That's why a lot of people try to go and find other things aside from that. So it's just like Dr. Jackie's dealing with real people problems and she doesn't have time for all this foolishness. Lisa meets up with Darren and Darren, Lisa just needs to know. So, do you actually want to have a baby or not? Because I heard from my friends that you don't. And you've been talking to the other guys. So, it's like, yeah, I've talked to the other guys to let them know my concerns. But I want, it's like, yes, I want to have another baby. No, here's his real answer. If you want to have another baby, I want to have another baby. We can afford to take care of it, so that's not the problem. But I want to make sure that your health is okay because she has a blood clotting issue. And if you're going to go and do it, we need to make sure that it's safe. Along with making sure it's safe. We need to make sure that you really want to do it. Because, uh, again, I, my whole thing is he doesn't really want to have another kid. It's like, if we have another kid, it's just like, and if we have four, it's like, what? Oh, yeah, if we have twins, cool. It's like, oh, yeah. And she was like, you know what? We're going to do whatever it takes. I'm thinking, he does not want to have another child or two. He doesn't. And he shouldn't have to. You have two beautiful kids. You have an amazing home, great businesses. He was like, are you actually going to slow down if you need to slow down? She was like, yeah, of course. You know, I'll work from home. And I'm thinking, yeah, she doesn't have to stop her business. But it's her body. It's their life. He says, let's go for it. If you want to go for it, then I guess she can go for it if she's going to go for it. I don't, I don't think that it's the best decision, but it's not my life. Quad goes and meets up with Toya and Dr. Heavenly, and of course Dr. Heavenly is filled in with the whole fact that Toya is, you know, trying to avoid doing the Broken Homeless tour, and by doing that, she's shopping in an affordable store, you know, and she's just like, see, see Quad, this is how this is going to work, see, but before all that, why did Toya go and again try to drudge up the whole thing with uh, Lisa Nicole saying, first of all, how are you having sex with a man that you know has been around town sleeping with women and possibly men? This man was just gay last year. So how are you going to try and have a baby with him now? And I'm like, what the hell? What's wrong with Toya? Everyone's looking at her like, what is wrong with her? Like, what? why is she really going in on 
Lisa Nicole like that. Anyway, the budget. I'm thinking it costs like $100 for a shirt. The quality of the shirt, this isn't even made out of silk. This is cotton. This is high quality cotton. Why are you paying $100 for this? For Toya. What's wrong with you? And Toya's just like, you know what? I have rich with people problems. I'm thinking, Toya, no, you don't. I know a lot of rich people and they don't have tax problems. Believe it or not, contrary to very popular belief, this is the difference between owing in general and owing how much you owe against your assets. Mm, it's not really balancing out. You don't have the collateral to bankroll what you're trying to bankroll. And that's why people are looking at you like, you're going to go in the poor house, you're going to bring your husband down, but it, it's too much. And with that being said, Dr. Jackie, of course, is with her husband because they have to go house shopping. They're still doing the suburbia versus the city. Jackie still wants the city, so they're looking at an apartment or a condo uh, in the city. And <laughs> her husband's like, wait a minute. This view is of traffic. What are we going to do with that? Jackie's saying, uh, can you give us a minute? Now remember, uh, Janice is the one actually showing them the house. And Jackie likes her some Janice because of what Janice did to Heavenly. Because you know Jackie does not like Heavenly. Because Heavenly is very abrasive. But Janice is like, okay. Because there's a lot of tension between Jackie and her husband. So... Like, I'll give you guys a couple of minutes, and I'll come back. Jackie has a talk, and he's just like, Okay, so you're saying that this is closer to your uh, place of business, your place of work. That's nice. And you're saying you'll be able to just do 30 extra minutes at your job and then come home, and you don't have to do anything else. That's a lie. I know you. You're going to stay there regardless. And then your next excuse is going to be, because you're so close, you know, if it's 9, 30, 10, you'll only be, it'll only take you what? 15 30 minutes without traffic he's over it he wants suburbia he wants peace and quiet she's like no i am not an old <laughs> she's like i want a certain lifestyle you don't i'm like this this storyline's cute it's see joshua jackie is allowed to have a regular you know basic storyline because she's not trying to perpetrate anything else th than what she is just like dr simone and i appreciate that with them and heavenly Heavenly, her personality is extra, but she's not, her home life is very regular. So, uh, Lisa takes Eugene to this place to go and give his specimen samples. That, that whole sentence just grossed me out. But again, Eugene's just like, I'm here for you, you're here for me. Now, why do you have to go and say the whole baby? Because she was just like, okay, you got me? It's just like, yeah, of course I got you. See, I'm going to be a baby daddy. I'm like, wait, wait, I'm going to be a new baby daddy. I'm like, wait, baby daddy? It's like, baby mama? So I was like, what is wrong with you? What is wrong with you? I kind of miss Jill now that I think about it. I don't know why. Just talking about Lisa Nicole made me start to miss Jill. Because Jill's like that messy friend that Toya always keeps having to replace these friends. Anyway, Jill's probably like, after the foolery that went on, I'm not going on there ever again. My man has enough money for me not to go on there, but again, Toya, you can go and stay on that platform if you want to. <laughs> because Lisa Nicole's also talking about helping him out in there. He's just like, <laughs> no, I got it. No, no, no. This is, no, 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 no. Now, Toya is excited that, that uh, Mariah actually wants to go and try to potentially rekindle their friendship. Because remember, they got into a physical altercation. That was on season one. That was straight at the jump. That's what got us glued into Married to Medicine. So, Toya is just is sad that Mariah, she's in a different headspace. And Mariah's just like, you know, regards with your tax stuff, your family stuff, I want to be here to support you. I don't know the issues that you have going on with Lisa Nicole. I don't know why you don't like her. It's just like, I feel like she's perpetrating a fraud and doing this and that. I'm thinking, just because you're really about your situation doesn't mean that everyone else has to be. Or the fact that they're not. Just because she's not saying what you want to hear doesn't mean that she's not telling her truth. Whatever that is, it's too much. But I'm glad to see them trying to, you know, break bread and start over. Dr. Heavenly is talking to Aurora. And I don't know why Dr. Heavenly thought it would be a good idea to ask Aurora. Because Dr. Heavenly has grown people friends. Why is she acting, asking her daughter? You, well, actually... Part of this was okay, because she does need to hear the fact that Aurora was telling her, you know, sometimes she does hurt her feelings. And I thought that that was appropriate. That was fine. 
What happened next was some straight up foolery. This is why you don't ask kids certain things because kids, as they get older, they develop tact. And so they know not to say certain things in public. The cameras are recording, so there's certain things that shouldn't be coming out of her mouth. That's the truth. Yes, she should be truthful, but there's a way to be truthful and tactful at the same time. Here goes uh, Dr. Heavenly asking her daughter, So, do you think that I'm actually that I'm mean, I'm doing too much? She's like, yeah, absolutely. It's like, because my friends say so. I was like, well, I agree with them. You know, you have a way about you. I'm like, who, that, who are you? Now, that is disrespectful. I don't care. That is disrespectful. You need to stop that right now. You're enabling her to say and do whatever she wants to a certain degree, and it's not okay. I don't care how grown and mature she is. She is still your child. I don't care that she's a child, she's your child. You need to just reel it back when the cameras are on, because I know you you yoked up her arm after her real good. Because you're like, okay, why don't you go impersonate me and see how I um make me see what other people see. So it's like, okay, well, I said you're abrasive. Abrasive. With you being abrasive, that also entails... Oh, so... Uh, you know, Aurora, mmm, girl, what even in? Your stomach looking a little pudgy. I'm like, oh no, did she do that to her daughter? Like, I understand she bowed weight herself, and so she's trying to help her daughter make sure she doesn't go down that road. But there's a way to do that. There's a way to do that with kids, because kids are so sensitive. Regardless of how they act, they're so sensitive. So you can't be going and having that type of direct approach. So I understood that part. But when she was doing the impersonation of the friends and stuff, I was like, oh my gosh, this is, this is not funny. This is not funny. And then Dr. Heaven is like, oh, oh, I get it. <laughs> Little girl, you need to stop it right now. I was like, oh, when the cameras went off. <laughs> when the cameras went off, you know. You already know. She was like, cut the damn cameras off because I'm about to go off. <laughs> I'm going to pretend that this is funny, but I'm about to go off. Quad goes and shows up to Toya. Quad's dressed in her her white suit, white suit, ready to, because Quad loves to do, you know, skits and impersonations. So it's like, I had to help Toya out. Because this whole $170,000 in back taxes thing is not cute. So I'm going to go and be the auditor. The auditor that Toya needs in her life. It's like, yes, so you're living in this house currently. Why? You have another house? Why aren't you living there? Oh, you're paying this much for this brand. You can get the off brand. You paid $100 for that shirt. Why do you need to pay $100 for that shirt? It was just like, you know, you could go and make a full dinner out of these ramen noodles and hot dogs. <laughs> I'm thinking, yes, it's bad, but it's not that bad. But Toys was like, we black. We already have that. Now, she went in one sentence and said, that's high in sodium. Why do you want me to have that to go and feed to the children? And the other thing, she was saying, but that's in our cabinet. So it is what? <laughs> like, what? <laughs> Toya, you got your attention. But I get where Quad was coming from, and I feel like Toya did need a little bit more of a reality check because Toya is still living this fantasy that she's going to spend whatever she wants to spend and it'll be okay. That's not how it works. Because Toya isn't just, you know, spending like an average person would spend. She's spending as if she's one of the Joneses. <sighs> you know, Dr. Simone, uh, Dr. Jackie wanted to get Dr. Simone's opinion on the house that Cecil, I just remembered his name. Uh, that Cecil picked out. And she was like, oh, that was cute. And then she was like, yeah, it was Cecil who picked out. Oh, this is nice. <laughs> so, yeah. um, and of course, they're on two different pages. So that's part of the issue. But the real issue is the fact that, well, that is an issue. Uh, the real issue for Dr. Simone is she can't find her father. So she needs Dr. Jackie's support. She's going to go down and to see if she can find her dad. And I'm like, damn, is that bad? Of course, she's talking to her husband as well, letting her know what her plan is, and of course, and he's very supportive of that. But it's sad, you know. Some people are dealing with some real life mess, and we're going and yelling at our friends. That's why that again, that was her real issue. It wasn't just Quad and helping Quad out. It was also about her father, and it was misdirected. I know that for a fact. That was in the back of her mind. It was just like this woman has her life together and has a good man right there and she's not giving him what he wants whereas you see how that all comes together yeah please like comment subscribe let me know what you think Jeez.